Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Observer. Um, we reached the end of the preview a couple days ago. And now here we are. Um, I believe we're in the later half of the game. Um, anyways. Heading into Sanctuary. And as a quick reminder, the person claiming to be Adam mentioned a place called Sanctuary. If there's any chance he's there, I need to find it. Now, not to start off too grim, but we found a severed head that was our son's. So... Not sure exactly what's going on. We don't know if... <laughs> we don't know really what to believe. So... Yes. Let's just... Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Calm ourselves slightly. Okay. The birds have always been a very positive sign. It usually means that nothing's nothing's awry. Oh, look at this. Pietro Babiano. Made it to Sanctuary. It looks like some sort of VR salon. No sign of Adam so far. I better look around. A VR salon? These all individual VR units. It's a VR church. This is how they're delivering mass. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Sanctuary Salon. Please state your full name. Um... Where am I exactly? What is this? What is this place? Sanctuary Salon. Established 2074. The Salon offers top quality virtual reality experiences. Expertly crafted to meet our customers' needs. Sanctuary. Oh your boy. safe refuge in an unsafe world. Why do I have to state my name? What do you need my name for? Customer name is needed in order to confirm a reservation. I don't have one. Daniel Lazarski. Identity confirmed. Subscription status active. Uh... Thank you, Mr. Lazarski. Your capsule is ready. What? Oh, these are... Whoa. <laughs> Holy. There's probably people in there, in each of these little, uh, cubes. We have an active subscription yet, we didn't- we don't know what this place is. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm pretty sure things are about to change dramatically. Thank you. 
expertly tailored just for us, she said. I wouldn't mind changing our options. Whoa. So you want to know the really crazy thing about this game is that every time you load it, Steam VR loads as well, regardless of whether or not you have a headset connected. And I'm starting to wonder <laughs> if there's a bigger reason for that. Look at this. Oh, this is all wiring. Whoa. Can't scan. Oh, no. Yes. I know it's hard to believe after all you've seen, but I need you to trust me on this. We don't have much time. What about the body I found? It's it's complicated. What you found wasn't me. Not anymore. But I'm here right now, and I need your help. If you're my son, prove it. How would I do that? Just try. Tell me something only we would know. Sometimes wake me up before dawn, go down to the river, watch the sunrise together. Hoping for that smog to clear just enough that we could see the mountains. It never happened. Of course. But we kept trying, didn't we? You were hiding here in the stacks. Yes. When they terminated my project, I hid where they wouldn't look for me. In time, I found people who were willing to help me. I managed to retrieve most of my data and carry on with my research. Tell us about your research. What were you working on? Imagine if all your thoughts, your memories, everything that defines you could be transferred into a digital realm, to exist long past your physical body, beyond limitations, beyond sickness and death. Eternal life, in a sense. Being human, just to keep existing. Sounds like a living nightmare. You haven't changed, have you? I knew you wouldn't understand. But you will. Soon. I promise. <laughs> We're probably already dead, and... He did this to us. And this is how we're even experiencing this. That would be... My uneducated guess. Helena saved your research. And smuggled it out of Cairo. <sighs> yeah. Got her killed. Yes. And Amir, too. It wasn't a part of the plan, but I had to. The project was too important, Dad. What about the surgeon? What was his angle? Yeah, Jack. He admired what I was trying to accomplish. Actually, I think he wanted to be me. Oh, no. What about the killer? I still don't see how the splicer fits into all this. He doesn't. That's why we didn't see him coming. It was an unforeseen factor. A convenient tool. When did you become this digital ghost? When the splicer came for me, I had to improvise. I managed to get out before it was too late, hoping they couldn't follow me into the web. But they could. They came after me with a virus. Hunter-killer algorithm. It's eating through my defenses. If they break down, I'll be gone for good. How can we stop it? We can't. I tried masking my signature, but it was too late. If I could bust out of the building's internal network, I might be able to outrun it. So we need to for leave how the damn lockdown. The source of the signal is well protected. 
It's like the mother of all firewalls. Which gives us only one option. Emmanuel Override. That's where you come in. Where does this signal come from? I couldn't pinpoint the exact location, but I've narrowed it down. It seems to have originated in the adjoining building. The high rise? Yeah. I think it's the epicenter of all this madness. The signal appears to be coming from the upper levels. And Dad? Watch your step. Chiron still has control over that place. And you. Not anymore. Yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> You struggle, the harder they try and get into your head. Oh, uh, this just keeps getting better. Darkest before dawn. Which reminds me, once you get out, follow the light. That's not the first time he said that, that we don't have control. And we followed the light before. The, the representation of the deer, I guess. I need to lift this damn lockdown. It's my only chance to save was left to my son. The source of the signal is coming from an old hotel towering over the building, heading there now. Can't scan in here at all. That's interesting, because we could do that. We could scan before. I don't think that was there when we first came in, was it? What the f So I'm guessing that this must be locked. Nope. Maybe this is. <laughs> Why do I want to be up here? I'll tell you right now, I don't want to be. Oh yeah. Gotta wonder if we're still in the VR, or if, have we always been? Like, yeah, I don't know. This is it, the source of all this madness. Whatever caused the lockdowns lurking within, no turning back now. That's great. Anyway, 
Remove your implants. We've seen these warnings before. Nanophage outbreak. No one shall enter or leave the area without written permission of the local health authority. Mega quarantine. There's someone out there. Whoa. Help me, please. What? Whoa. What's going on here? Why are you people in capsules? They've locked us in. Those bastards. We're not even sick. Let us out. Oh, yeah. How do I open the capsules? I think there's a control room nearby. Just follow the light. I'll do what I can. Just follow if the you light. Can't help me, please. My son is still out there. His father, he's gone insane, delirious. I'm afraid he might do something to our boy. You can't let that happen. If I can find him, I'll get him out. Thank you. You've always been such a good boy. Oh. What did you say? Holy shit. You gotta wonder. Oh, man. You gotta wonder who she's actually talking about. Okay. Wait a second. Is this? Come on. I want this entire floor purged. Sir, some of the patients are still symptom free. For now, we need to cut our losses. I'm not losing all my subjects out of some misguided sense of empathy. Some mis- <laughs> guided sense of empathy. Whoa. These look familiar. All the comm systems from the other building. Detection incendie. April 29th, 08. Oh wait, sorry. March 29th, April 8th. Is that what that's saying? Fire? Whoa, what? Why? What? Okay. Let's relax. Let's relax. Synchrosine injected. Strain level decreased. Okay. We got something in here. Jesus, please don't be a dead end. I'm just, I'm just going, I'm just... 
trusting my gut. Oh, he's gonna go through here. We're gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> There's no way I'm opening this right now. Oh shit. Okay. What is that? Shit. Trying to follow the light. Oh. Okay. But I mean, that can be taken so many different ways. Fuck. He's still on the other side here, I think. I think he's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around. We definitely have to go that way, but. Pretty sure he's sitting over there. Shit. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Oh shit. Oh, this is bad. and require an answer here soon. I thought I heard him here, but then I also... Shit! Is he going to walk around here? Great. 
great. Light just flickered out over there. There's lights flickering everywhere though, like how do we... Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, I think we fucked up. Holy shit. Holy fuck! No! Fuck! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! It could happen. It can happen. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now I have no clue where we are. Oh, man. I'm- I'm literally sweating. I'm sweating. Please, 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 please. Holy fuck. Go! I'm not looking back. Fuck. Close the doors, close the doors. Thank you. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> go, 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 go! Fuck this, man. Casper Siraj. Oh, 
What the hell? Wait a second, what? It's like a living mass of tissue. I don't like it! Number 24. No. Whoa! Oh, fuck! That wasn't nothing. That wasn't even anything. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Uh. Okay. Today would be good! Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I don't want to do this. There must have been a misunderstanding. I was told you decided not to undergo the augmentation procedure. Yes. Just to be clear, what? you do realize that that drastically decreases your chances of recovery? I... I made my decision. Thank you. Honey, I'm proud of you. You can do this. I know you can. All this time, we kind of thought that she did I'll get this here. procedure. Oh, the rose! You owe me this much. Oh, Promise man. me, you'll take care of him. Whatever it takes. That night you and Mom argued. After you left, Mom was very sad. I asked her what was wrong, and she said the doctors could cure her. But she wasn't sure she wanted them to. It's not that simple. What the doctors wanted to do, there was a heavy price to be paid. She wouldn't be herself. She wouldn't be your mom anymore. That's not what I'm asking. I want to know. Did mom decide for herself? Did she really want this? Of course she did. Your mother believed she was strong enough to beat this thing on her own. I did, too. But she wasn't! I just wanted her to be alright! Why didn't you save her? <laughs> Whoa! Oh shit, resentment, great. That's... that's powerful. Good motivator. Please, make this brief. Dad, it's... it's pretty bad. They need to replace a few parts.
easy there. Listen, it's either this or spend the rest of your life in a fucking jar. hypocrite and you don't even see it I thought I was right I didn't know any better you stood on principle when it was her life on the line but when it comes to saving yourself you're pragmatic oh. all of a sudden I take care of you I made a promise to her no you don't get to use her as an excuse not after what happened oh shit what did you want me to do give up it's like the beast that we That's were avoiding. What you made her do. Every time I look at you, I see this What? You made it. You finally understand. Holy shit. Memories, I had to break you out somehow. Now that you're finally free, we can beat this thing. A host? I guess that's supposed to be me. Yes. The observer's mind is isolated, detached from the grid. It's the only place where I can hide. A fortress that the virus won't be able to penetrate. Let's say I let you in. Then what? Oh. It's amazing. Our minds will merge. Merge? Yeah. We kind of saw we that earlier. So weird, but our the woman and the girl. Hook up. We plug into each other. Sorry, you lost me. You are losing it. Your sanity's hanging by a thread, Dad. But I can help you regain control of your senses. We can help each other. I can't trust you anymore. You lied. Make it your way. It's still up to you. Save us both. Holy and go on shit. This fever dream of existence. Either way, since tonight, I'm growing weaker by the second. Soon, 
who will be able to maintain a connection? Wow. Regret this. You've taken your first steps towards embracing your true nature, towards becoming who you really are. Jesus. There's still more to do. Apartment 104. Make it quick. We're going to see everything that he's orchestrated here. You killed yourself. Yeah, and basically. Iteration. Then what are you? I am Adam. Which one? The only one left. Killed him. The real Adam. The real Adam? He killed dozens. Iteration after iteration laid to waste in pursuit of his grand design. Why should one more make a difference? You're fucking unreal. He was my son. I am your son. So what if he had the real body? You're clinging to a version of me that hated you. As if that was all that made him. <sighs> me. Your son. <laughs> Why? Why, though? Why? Why did you kill him? I had no choice. Kill or be killed. The virus. Adam said it moves. He figured out how dangerous you are. Maybe. Or maybe he realized he had succeeded. He created the superior version of himself. And it terrified him. The splicer was breathing down my neck. You sent him. Appreciate it. He was never supposed to go after you, but the drugs and the paranoia took over. After that, well, he went full on fair. You didn't consider that that was a real possibility? Ironic. Coming from the observer. That's a good point. So what the hell makes you better? He was driven by hatred. Obsessed with the idea of not becoming you. He never came to understand. But I did. Just help me out, man. You're losing me. We're all freaks of nature, Dad. Your choices, your mistakes, they were all unavoidable. You can't blame us for what we are. Why did the others have to die? I couldn't let any word of this reach Kyle. He would stop at nothing to track me down. So sacrifice others, of right? course. Think of me what you will. But you know the corporation. They would claim this gift for themselves. I want to share it with the world. I regret what I had to do. But it was necessary evil. So he figures out a way to maintain quote unquote life after your physical form is gone. But I mean, oh man. I'm tired. Let's get this over with. Very well. If you think you're ready to make your choice, <sighs> you let your son die, or will you save me? I mean. You embrace, you become one. He's obviously, we can't trust him, but he's our son, you know, and that's the, that's the, that's the challenging part. Um, but if he's able to do this and he's in, or merged with the mind of an observer, could you imagine? Could you imagine what he could do?
like, terrifying stuff. I mean... I'm gonna reject him. My son is gone. I'm not sure anymore who or what you are. But you will pay for what you did. That's... disappointing. I was hoping we could do this the easy way. He's gonna do it anyways. Since you failed to see reason... Fuck. Insist. And what? Break it to my brain? What do you think I've been doing for the past hour? I've been chipping away at you ever since you got into that capsule. Yeah. You're breaking my heart, asshole. No, Dad. Just your mind. I didn't want to do this, but you gave me no choice. I want to live. Forever in a day. Go to hell. After you. After you. It must end this way. You see, without a willing host, I need to force you out. Fortunately, I have found a better place for you. Oh, that's him. Oh, what? Sorry, Dad. Fuck. battery Oh, is that Yanis? Sure is. There you no! Bedroom. Oh, Bedroom. shit! No way! Someone did a number on you. Teach you to walk them off. Holy shit, he put us into one of those fucking cleaner Don't drones. Don't worry. Don't worry. <clears throat> Don't worry. All the Janus is gonna fix you up. So we took over Yanis. Oh my god. What? What? <laughs> Sun puts us into the cleaner robot. We take over Yanis' body as a host. Revenge time, maybe? Look at the- look at the right leg. Oh, man. The lockdown has now been lifted. You're Thank shitting you me. Your cooperation. Here you are. The situation is under control. Yeah. Mr. Police, come out with your hands up. Do 
No way. This is not going to end well. So Adam's a full on observer now. God, what a mess. Is he breathing? Wait, check it. I think he. Whoa, dudes. Holy shit! I didn't know that we were that close to the end. That's crazy. Whew. So, uh, okay. Wow. Um, wow. I mean, it, it pretty much explained everything that happened there, um, at the end, but I did not see that coming. Where I honestly trusted him the entire time until the end. I honestly did. Ah, fuck. Got us. Um, really, really cool. This is, this is a wild experience. Very wild experience. Um... Very cool, like... You know, you can obviously see that this is made by the guys who made Layers of Fear, right? But... Much different aesthetic. Uh, different tone, slightly. Different, uh, approach in displaying that tone, and I thought it was really well done. Really well done. I, I particularly loved all the little backstories that we were able to kind of weave together, uh, mostly through emails and files on their computers and things like that. Um, but yeah, this is this was really cool. I thought this this was great. I enjoyed every minute of it, and it sucks that it's over now. It's terrible. Um, at the same time, I'm playing through Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice, which is a sim. It's similar in the sense that it's, like, a weird way of depicting... It's about depicting mental illness. And you could argue that this is similar, uh... This has similar kind of connotations, but... Drastically different approaches in doing so. And so I still kind of get to weird out with, with Hellblade, but... This was... Really well done, Bloober Team. Oh, I love this team. I really love this team. I love what they're doing. Everything they put out is just like unbelievable. Really cool. What is the collectibles? Oh, these are all the. Uh... Oh man, there were 69 of them. I actually thought we were finding tons of these. We only found 24. That's really cool. Really cool. Well, um,. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I really appreciate it. Um, the Bloober guys did like this really early preview, and it's a unique way of doing it. But I appreciate them letting me cover the game, uh, a lot of it, like well in advance. It's an interesting approach, but the, obviously the huge reveal. <laughs> that's it's pretty massive. You go into the VR church and then. Adam kind of tricks us and takes over like that is incredible. Really cool. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and... Whew, it, I, w I cannot wait to see what your interpretations are. Um, although it was laid out pretty directly at the end there, I still think that there's some things that will be um, questioned, like, well, what now? What's possible for Adam to accomplish in the mind of an observer? Um, pretty scary thoughts to be honest with you thank you guys really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you in whatever the next one happens to be take care bye